What is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft Bedrock, also known as Minecraft for Windows 10. And I'm going to show you how to enable the RTX ray tracing elements when you're trying to create your own world, especially the survival world. So if you wanted to create your own survival world and you wanted to have it with RTX ray tracing enabled, I'm going to show you a really easy and quick method to do that. By default, the game does not allow you to do this. You can only enable the RTX elements in a NVIDIA created world. And that's not what we want. We want to be able to do it in our own created worlds. Okay, so to begin with, you're going to require two things. All right, first of all, you are going to require to own and have purchased Minecraft for Windows 10. And if you are in any beta versions, then please make sure that you are uninvolved out of them and you are in the full game. Secondly, you do require a RTX compatible graphics card. So anything from an RTX 2060 or higher should be able to run this. So just check your graphics card and see if it actually supports RTX. If it doesn't, then unfortunately this method might not work for you. But if you do have an RTX compatible graphics card, then you can go ahead and run this. All right, so whenever you create a default survival world in Minecraft for Windows 10 Bedrock Edition, unfortunately, the option to have the RTX slider enabled is grayed out. And I'm just going to show you that what I mean. All right, so when you actually get inside the game, click on play, click on create new, create new world. And we're going to create a basic survival normal difficulty world. So let's go ahead and have a look now. Yeah, and there you go. So now we are in a basic standard world. As you can see, compared to the previous footage, the RTX is not enabled in this. If we were to go into our settings and then the video options, you scroll down, you will see that the ray tracing and upscaling is basically grayed out. So you can't actually control this. If you hover over this information icon here, it does say, this option can only be edited while playing in a ray tracing capable world. Now, what they want you to do is to go to the marketplace, download a world that has been created by NVIDIA and basically explore that world. And this option will be enabled. But what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually use texture packs and RTX shaders to actually enable this option. All right. So to begin with, if you open up your internet browser in the search bar, if you just type in Homar, that's H-O-M-A-R-T-X, and then you type in Cube IR after that, you should get this uh, GitHub link, basically. So just click on that. And what this is, it's a vanilla-based RTX shader pack for Minecraft Bedrock, also known as Minecraft for Windows 10. And what this will do, this will give you the same vanilla RTX feeling that you would see in an NVIDIA-created world and then you can create your own survival world and experience the same RTX feeling. So if we click on this link basically over here, click on download, you will see that it downloads a file and you will also notice that this is a MC pack extension file. Now with these files, all you need to do is just open them and they will go straight into the game and they will import the shader pack into the game as so. So as you can see, it says import started and it, it's successfully imported Homer RTX. Next thing you want to do, go to settings, scroll all the way down here to where it says global resources, click on my packs and also click on active. So you can actually see that the default Minecraft texture pack is currently active. If you click on this one, Homer RTX and click on activate. Now this is in the active section. You can deactivate it if you want and then activate it again. If you do want to delete these uh, texture packs, you can't do it from here. What you have to do is you have to go to storage over here, click on resource packs, click on the texture pack or shader pack that you want to uninstall and just click on the bin icon here and it will get rid of that. All right, so now that we've enabled Homer RTX on our system, we're going to click on play 
we're going to click on create new click on create new world leave it at survival normal difficulty create and now compared to before we should actually load up into an rtx enable world as you can see we've got all the rtx elements here it's loaded me on top of the trees all the way over here that's fine let's take some damage but yeah if you can have a look at the, the water graphics you can clearly see that the rtx has been enabled you can see all the reflections there you can see the sun rays as well over there if we go inside the water you can have a look at the the light rays coming in inside the water there it's really cool Obviously, this would not be possible in the normal default world, but just by installing that shader pack, it has been enabled. Alright, so I'm just going to create a new creative mode world, just so I can show you a few more things. Alright, so let's go. Alright, cool. So... As you can see, we're now in creative mode and the RTX has been enabled as well. Just going to change the time of day here. All right, so I have set the time to midnight just so I can show you guys a few more things. So first of all, if I go and select the uh, glass here. As you can see, we've got clear glass here. But yeah, as you can see, we are seeing the reflections there in the glass. And it looks really cool. You can see the glowing effects as well. Let's just put a few more of these. This is where the RTX ray tracing comes into its element. Alright, so let me put a different colored glass tile here. There we go. So you can actually see through the glass and then you've got the reflection in the glass there as well. It's really cool, as you can see there. This is part of the vanilla RTX experience. I'm also going to show you another shader pack which is made by the same guy who made this one and it's more of an update for it. Alright, so if you open up your internet browser again and if you just type in vanilla RTX cube IR and then if you go to the, the link which is this one here. And this is called truly vanilla RTX normals. And as you can see, it says it's a normal map based vanilla RTX resource pack. And don't click on the link, which is at the bottom here, because you're going to get loads of ads. So if you click on this, you're going to go to another ad driven link. But instead, if you go to their Discord page, which is somewhere here, if you go to the Discord page for the creator of this texture pack, QBIR, if you click on this bit here, click on downloads. 
then you should be able to download the latest version of this shader pack. So if you just click on that, it will go to a media file link and it's version 1.1.3. So if you just click download this, you can also download the updated glowing ores for this. So let's download that as well. Again, I'm going to leave all the links to these files in the description below. So you guys don't have to go and search for it. You can just download it from there. All right. So once it's downloaded, just click on the MC pack extension file and it will import that into the game. There we go. It's saying it's successfully imported truly vanilla RTX. I'm just going to import the other file as well, which is the updated glowing ores. All right, so now if we go to settings and global resources, you can see that home RTX is currently enabled. So let's deactivate that, go to buy packs, and you can see that these are the two new shader packs that we just downloaded and installed into the game. So just click on that, click on activate, click on this add on, click on activate. Now we're going to go back into our game. All right, so we are now in the truly vanilla RTX. So as you can see, the tiles have changed there. The, uh, the blocks, they've got the, uh, the borders around them. So if you were to run the NVIDIA created world and enable the RTX in that, this is what it would look like, basically. It would not be the clear glass. Now, you can actually go to the, the link which I showed earlier and you can download the clear glass add-on and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so if we come back to the uh, Discord page again, if you just scroll up a bit here. You're going to see there's two more add-ons here. One of them is called clear water, one of them is called clear glass. Let's open clear water and download this. And then let's open clear glass and download that as well. And you can also have a look at other files here other add-ons like glowing glazed terracotta, glowing hardened clay, but you don't have to download these. The only ones I would recommend is the clear water and clear glass ones. Let's just install that now. What I do recommend doing is exit the application after every install. Because if, if you alt and tab it, it sometimes does mess up the RTX in the game. So always exit the game and then install these packs and then go back in. All right, so we have downloaded and imported those other add-ons. So let's go to global resources again, click on active. We can see there's two there, my packs. There's two more new ones. Let's activate those ones as well. So now we've got four truly vanilla RTX packs enabled. Let's go back into the game now. There we go. So now we've got the clear glass add-on enabled. And this looks similar to how the, the Homer RTX pack was before. I think the guy who's made this truly RTX vanilla pack has done some upgrades into the game. So this would be an updated version of the Homer RTX pack. So basically, yeah, you can actually try both of them and see which one you like. So as you, as you can see here, the water has changed as well. This has moved away slightly from the vanilla experience and gone into a more clearer water experience there. But I do think this uh, clear water does look nicer than the default. So, yeah. Obviously, there are other shader packs which you can use apart from these ones, which are made by QBIR. There's one called Fishy's Wonderful Shader Pack, and there's another one called Kelly's RTX, which is similar to this one. Uh, so, I, I also recommend you give those ones a go as well, just to see which one you like the most. So, 
hopefully this will allow you to play a Minecraft Bedrock Minecraft for Windows 10 RTX compatible world that you've created and you can create your own Minecraft RTX survival world using these shader packs. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please hit that like button. If you have any queries or questions about this not working for you or it has worked and you want to leave a confirmation message that it has worked for you or you have any other problems, please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to this channel to help it grow and support it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.